So are you thinking about moving here to Cypress, Texas? If you are, then I found a gorgeous brand new community that I think may be perfect for you. And in this video, I'm going to hop into it and let you know the good, the bad, the ugly, the beautiful things about living in that part of Cypress, Texas. And the community is called Dunham Point. Hi, my name is Aaron. Every week I'm helping buyers relocate to and throughout the greater city of Houston and the surrounding suburbs. So if you need to know anything about where to eat, sleep, live, play, hit me up morning, noon or night. I'm your guy and I would love to be a resource to you. So this community is beautiful. I love it. It's gorgeous. It's in one of my favorite locations and favorite suburbs surrounding the city of Houston. And that is the area of Cyprus. And this one is, is going to be something special. I know you probably hear me say that a lot, but I, I tour new construction and I, I fall in love easily. Right. So this community in Cyprus is gorgeous. It's called Dunham Point and it's, it's going to really be something special. They're just breaking ground right now. Not even all of the model home, uh, not even all of the model homes in the model home park is complete. So this is the time where if you get in right now, this is the some of the best deals you're going to get. These are some of the best incentives you're going to get, some of the best in, the best lender financing that you're going to get. This is the time to get in right now before so many people know about it and are going to be basically rushing to get out here. And, and like I say always, if it's one day, a week, a month, a year out and you want to have that conversation about making your move here to Cyprus or any of the surrounding suburbs, hit me up. I am your guy. So the first point that I absolutely love about this location is that it is in fact a great location. It is just south of 290. It is really right before you get to the premium outlet up here in the Cyprus area and it's, it's easy access off of 290. I love a bunch of communities up in the Cyprus area. Uh, Marvita, Town Lake, Bridgeland, all of those are kind of like right in that same area. But in my opinion, this one has the best location because it is it is literally tucked off of 290 and the 290 access road where in some of the other communities you may have to uh, like dip and do through the, the neighborhood a little bit. Um, not too crazy for Town Lake and not too crazy for Bridgeland or Marvita but you still have to do some traveling away from 290 or a little bit away from 99 to kind of get into some of those neighborhoods and communities. But this one is like literally, it's the exit off of the, the 290 feeder road. So it's it's like prime location. Um, coming with that, because you're so close to where you are and you are in that location, it's a, it's a fairly simple drive to the, the center of the city. Um, if you're trying to get back to, you know, the loop and, and everything that's going on in the center of the city, you're not too far. You have great infrastructure. You have great shopping out there. You have, you know, whatever you need. I just mentioned the, the premium outlet mall for Cyprus. Me and my wife are out there all the time. We love it. We were just there uh, a couple of days ago before we saw the signs on this uh, community. And was just like, man, we're going to go back out there and check it out. And I'm glad that we did. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous community. Um, and, and so it's definitely one of those places where the location is so great. And because you're surrounded by so many planned communities, there's going to be the opportunity to kind of piggyback off a lot of the amenities. Right. So this community isn't going to be as big as a Bridgeland um, or like an Ellison or some of these other master plan communities that are around you. But because you're so close, it's kind of like you can piggyback off of their their amenities. So if you don't have all the, the acreage of lakes and trails that a Bridgeland does, it's literally around the corner. You can park and go and use their amenities. Right. But that's not to say that your amenities are going to be a slouch. That's the, the third point is that your amenities are going to be outstanding as well. So you're going to have your walking trails. You're going to have the beautiful views and the lakes. You're going to have all of those things at your disposal, the gyms, the uh, the multiple pools. You're going to have the, the pavilion where you can relax and all that stuff at the at the welcome center. Right. You're going to have a ton of amenities, but that that great location near all the shopping and the amenities and all the communities that you have access to all of the, the stuff that you have access to in Katy because you're not so far away from Katy. It really makes just for a, a gorgeous mix of being in a really, really, really prime and great location. Um, and so that's one of the things that I think is going to be 
you know, one of those things where this is going to, for, for the time in the foreseeable future, this is going to be a lot of people's favorite location that they're kind of flocking to because of the great location, because of the shopping, because of the schools and all those things that you're tied to, right? It is going to be an outstanding location. And I can see, I see how it's tucked off already. I see the infrastructure. I see all those things coming. And let me just kind of show you what I mean by what I'm seeing. So this is the community right now just starting out like they're they're starting out so soon right now that the infrastructure for you know the 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 website isn't even up to par like you have to go to some of the builder sites to get more information that's how brand new this this community is and that's why i want you to get in right now so you don't get priced out if it is in your price range right now and so you know one of the things that i love about this is that it is going to be a true plan community right they're going to think about all the things that you need so how you live in so you're going to have different forms of housing whether that's single family homes multi-family homes there i just saw an article today that there's going to be you know like plan rent sections and all that stuff as well and so we'll see how that all shakes out when things kind of shake out for the area but you're going to have your living you're going to have your shopping your food all that stuff really close to you um and so the amenities and what you're getting in that location i mean it's literally prime location if you're familiar with that area you know the restaurants you know the the studio kind of like movie grill cinemas and all that stuff that's around you already in place you already know that this is going to be a prime location right and i'm just gonna show you right now it is just north of bridgeland and so because you are where you are, like I said, you get to piggyback off literally every community in that location. And this area right here is basically just covered with some of the most beautiful planned communities that that the Houston area has to offer. And, and this is an overall look of where the site is. So like I said, coming in off of 290, um, I think this is the access road that you have right now. When you get to here, this is kind of where the model homes are. Um, hopefully I'm not too turned around, but that's that's kind of what it's looking like right now. And it all you have in here right now is like the, the four of the eight like model homes that they have to show. That's all that's here right now. And so if you get in right now, you are basically being uh, a pioneer for this area and you will pay the least of all of your neighbors if you can get in right now. Another thing that I love about this uh, community is that you're because you are where you are, you're going to have a great safety rating. That's not my words. I'll drop a link to niche.com so you can do your own research on this zip code. But you are going to have outstanding safety. I can I can already feel the vibes when I was out there. I was, it was me, my wife and my daughter yesterday checking out the location and just kind of getting some footage and, and checking it out. Um, and it just was a really safe, inviting place. When I was out there, there were so many different types of people and different types of backgrounds that it just was like, man, did you just become my number one spot? Now, that's going to be hard to do um, because I love some of these other uh, planned communities in the Cypress area. But I think for the closeness that it is to, you know, me and my wife already were just having the conversations of now how often will we be at this outlet mall if we live right here she's like we riding a go-kart over there like we're we're already talking about riding the golf cart to the the outlet mall so i think i think like safety and just overall family vibe and just feeling like a sense of community this is going to be a special it's going to be a small community it's going to be a tight-knit community but i think it's going to feel special uh when it's all said and done and safety is at the top of that priority especially if you you know, if you've been like us and you're just kind of used to hearing the stories of things that kind of go on in Harris County and Houston specifically, you, it, it's kind of refreshing to get to a community and not feel like you have to be as guarded. Now, that's not to say that something crazy can't happen wherever you are. Life happens, right? But to be out there and in that zip code, just check out the stats when you have some time after you watch this full video. Then don't quit on me. Watch this full video. But when you have some time, check out the zip the zip code stats and you'll see that this is going to be a super safe community in a super safe neighborhood and the ratings are going to be a one. And the the next thing that I want to touch on, I kind of touched on it a little bit, is that the schools are going to be great. So you're going to be tied to Sci Fair. 
If you have, you know, children that are in that school age, if we go back to the map over here, you can even see that they have plotted out for some on-site schools for you. So that typically might be because of the playing community, it probably is going to be like a feeder elementary school. And then you'll go to end up probably at Bridgeland High. Um, I'll leave some notes for the zip code as well um, in the description so you can check out the rest of the schools. But you're probably going to be fed into uh, Bridgeland High, just like a lot of these communities are doing right now. And so it's just it's really you can't really miss when it comes to this community. I, I think that this is going to be one of those ones, like I said, when people look back several years from now, they're going to just be like, man, I wish I got in at the price that I could have gotten in at. Um, and oh, right on top of it. Look at that. Bridgeland High School um cell yards middle school is another solid middle school and I, I think this alt elementary is one that you're tied to now but you'll probably be tied to another one um in a couple years after it gets built out and things kind of start they typically don't do that right out the gate they'll maybe break ground for the school but typically they you get enough houses in the community and then the school kind of pops up right it's usually one of those things you start to see towards the end of, a, of the second or third phase of construction. So schools aren't there yet right now. Like I said, it's just like four of the, the seven or eight model homes right now. And so that's just what you have to, to work with and to see in that community right now. But gorgeous community. Um, and I think it is going to be awesome. You're going to have the great location. You're going to have the great amenities. You're going to be tied to the great schools. You're going to have a safety rating. And another thing that was important for me to see the other day was the, the diversity, right? So we were out there doing our thing, getting our footage, doing our tours, and just to see the different types of people uh, with different kind of backgrounds, just kind of walking in, checking out the locations. It's one of those things where you're going to feel uh, safe and you're going to feel a certain level of inclusion that you may not feel with other suburbs in the greater Houston area. And that's always important to me. Um, you know, it's just definitely one of those things where I never want to feel like I don't belong somewhere. And I definitely get that vibe that everyone is looking at that area. Everyone is looking at the positive things about that location and the beautiful things and the great schools. And they're going to want to do the best for them and their family. And this location is saying we're welcoming all just based on even how some of them are advertising. And it, it's, it's one of those things where someone's advertising will tell you a lot about kind of how they are looking at the the situation and who their demographic is and you know just kind of going through newmark for example you're seeing the grounds you're seeing the great pools you're seeing all these things right and you're seeing how they're going to be setting up the infrastructure the lakes and all that other stuff and then you start to see the diversity of other people that they're saying hey come here and that's important to me because i know in some communities that i go and visit you don't necessarily feel those vibes with um, who who they're market active, actively marketing to on their website. So this is important for me to see. And when I was out there touring, it basically looked like all all the ethnicity, all the ethnicities of the rainbow. So that was always a good vibe to me. So not everywhere can be perfect, though. And so those are all the great things. I love the great location. You're near great shopping. You have great amenities. You're tied to great schools. It was diverse, and you are, and and it's uh, and a, the, one of the best locations that you can have in the Cypress area. But it is not perfect, and because it is a location like it is, and because it's going to be a community as it's presenting itself to be online, you are going to have to deal with some HOAs. Like there's no way around it. And the, the number one kind for a lot of people that are coming to or moving to a community like this is that the HOAs are probably going to be kind of strict. Whenever you have a location that's giving you these resort style amenities, they're going to come with some rules because they want the generations and the families and all those people that move in after you to have that same feel, that same vibe. They want it to be sought after and, and, and desired like you did when you first saw it. And so if you are in a community like this that's going to have the the manicured pools and the lakes and the walking trails and all that 
you're probably going to have some rules that come with that, right? You're not going to probably be able to allow your garbage can to, to stay at the curb too long. You're not going to be able to have your RV park. You're not going to be able to have, you know, your truck hanging over the sidewalk or, or parked weirdly in the street. There's going to be rules in a community that comes with something that just looks this gorgeous. And you kind of just have to deal with that because at the end of the day, you're in a great location. You're at, you're at, you know, one of my favorite locations in the, the greater Houston Metro. Um, you're getting a, a gorgeous, beautiful community like this, where it feels like a resort, feels like a vacation where you don't have to leave. Um, and that just comes with being tied to a community like that. So number one con that most people may have with a community like this is that the HOA is probably going to be fairly strict. You know, that's still to be seen. You know, I, I, I don't even think the first houses are fixed or started yet. Well, I know they're started, but they're not finished yet. So I don't think they've had any celebrated move-ins just quite yet. Um, that's still to be seen how strict or how severe it is. But one of the, the common threads of communities like this is that the HOA is going to be fairly strict. The next thing that you have to uh, think about, and, and luckily on the last couple times, we haven't had much traffic as we were going back to our house um, just north of the center of the city, but that traffic or commute, if your lifestyle does not have you in that north to northwest to west side of the world. So if you don't work in Katy or if you don't work in Cyprus or Hockley or, or any of those locations that are kind of tucked in that west northwest of the world and you have to, let's say, get to the medical center or you have to get to Pearland or you have to get to Baytown or the Woodlands or any of these places for work, your commute and traffic could probably be bad. Now on this particular uh, on this particular trip, it was it was quick. We got in and out in like 30 minutes both times. But on some previous trips um, out to Cyprus, a wreck on 290, and and it was basically a day ruiner. It ended up taking us like an hour and 20 to get to our house where it would normally take us like 30 to 35 minutes just to get to our location. And so if you have to do a commute, let's say from that part of Cyprus down to the Galleria where you're guaranteed to hit at least a couple levels of traffic at the loop for the Galleria or off 290. Um, or if you're going to take the two or if you're going to take 99 to get to 10, um, there's going to be some levels of, of traffic that you're just going to have to deal with being in that location. So that's definitely something that you're going to want to you know, iron out to see if this is actually a great location based on the lifestyle and the things that you do for fun and do for play and you do for work. So commuting and traffic to and from different parts of Houston that are not in that northwest side could be a little bit of a problem. Uh, the next thing is that prices are are kind of getting crazy in the area. This area is no different. The, the basic entry price point when this was first advertised was high threes. Um, when we were out there yesterday, I saw a couple signs driving into the community that say basically low fours as a starting point. Now, most of these are a little bit bigger than I would say some of your other locations um, that we have that we've toured. But a lot of these people that are out there right now <clears throat> that have their their <clears throat> that have their signage out, that have their model home ready to go, that are advertising or they're advertising at 500 plus right now. They haven't really displayed any of the uh, products that are a little bit, um, I don't want to say low end, but are a little bit more entry. The entry is much higher um, right now. And one of the, the most affordable ones out there, one of my favorite builders out there is David Weekly. And I think they're hovering right around that high fours to low fives. Um, and so this is typically a pre a pre land price. So depending on where your, your plot of land is going to be, this is going to basically, you know, change how much house you're going to get. But you see, they're almost starting at 2,000 square feet. So this is going to definitely be that 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 quintessential four bed, two and a half bath kind of community that you know a lot of families are going to move into. The entry point is right around 2,000 square feet, and this price point is a little bit in line with what you're seeing in most of the suburbs to get 2,000 square feet. You're going to be in the low fours in most places for brand new construction. So it's not far off from where it needs to be, um, but the prices kind of are what they are. And you see very quickly that they creep up to the fives on the first row of, of things that they're advertising that they have. You're already in the fives 
on the first three homes that they're advertising right and they have some great incentives right now that can knock that price down or can lock in a rate or to give closing costs or to extend your rate if you need to build um, they're still allowing you to build from dirt um, and basically pick all your finishes and all that stuff which is which is unique for a lot of places at this price point in this market right now but uh prices are creeping up very quickly and so the faster that you can get in the better and this is probably the the number one kind for many communities like this that i love and that is that the tax rate in a brand new community like this is going to be so high um the the tax rate is going to be in that uh, i think it's like 3.53 is what i saw 3.5 somewhere around there for this community and so because the entry level point is four hundred thousand dollars plus and you have a tax rate that is plus uh three percent you are going to have a a pre-homestead tax bill of about a thousand dollars a month probably a little bit more than a thousand dollars a month for your entry level house and the houses go from four hundred thousand up to a million out there right so you have a three percent tax rate three you have a three plus percent tax rate out there so you're going to be in that thousand uh, dollars to fourteen hundred dollars a month for your entry level houses out there in the community and so that's pre-homestead you know with the homestead exemption if you don't know what that is that's basically a, a tax deduction that you get for owning a home and it being your primary residence so that will help uh but for most people um you're going to see a fairly large chunk of a tax bill with your mortgage every month um and so that's definitely something you're going to get the great amenities you're going to get the walking trail the pools the lakes you're going to get the great location um the great schools and everything tied with being in that area but it's going to come at a cost to you of a higher tax bill so how did i do did i scare you away from moving into done on point i think it's it's a gorgeous community um, when it's all said and done, I think it's going to be one of the prettiest ones that is offered in the greater Cypress area. I think it is actually probably in the best location uh, for the greatest for the greater Cypress area right now because it's right off of 290 um, and it's right off that feeder. You don't have to go in down uh, Barker, or Cypress or Six or any of those other 99. You don't have to go down any of those other roads to get to the community. You do a quick little UE and you're right there on 290 and you're right in your community so i think it's going to be a great location if you want to check out other communities that i've done in the cypress area i'll throw that on the screen right now if you're thinking about other areas if you're not quite sold on the cypress area and you want to see some other suburbs i'll throw those videos on the screen here as well if you need some help whether you're a day a month a week a year two years out and you want to talk about your transition to houston i would love to be a resource and I look forward to hearing from you and I hope you have an amazing day.